the treatment towards you has been shocking. It, it has been shocking. It's been incredibly violent. And, you know, I just want to make the point that there's still allegations only even to date. There's, there's no proof to those things yet. The Green Party are taking advice on what their next steps will be with relation to the party hopping um, legislation, uh, as, as am I. There's a, there's a massive distinction between um, what I would say the membership and the political party leadership. Um, so I want to make that distinction very, very clear. Um, things change when you go into Parliament and that is where we see really the reversion to uh, to to colonist uh, coloniser behaviour, and there it is culturally unsafe. And when the going gets tough, then you see what really happens, and you know it's it's it is unsafe. Um, the membership is something else. When I saw the impact, um, the cancel culture behaviour that was happening to uh, Green Party supporters who were supporting me. Uh, I needed to uh, just call it call time, if you will, uh, on um, some horrendous behaviour. Um, you know, and not, you know, to, to our, our Pacifica um, uh, tuahine observed that for themselves, but it was, you know, against Pākehā members of, of the Green Party as well. So being able to call time and just say, hey, let's just cut some nonsense, please, and let's bring this into a court of law and have a discussion. So there, in my affidavit, I put forward a proposition to hōhō te rongo to make the peace with, with the Green Party, and I, and I still hold that, uh, irrespective of what is happening. It's when things get tough that you you see the real momo um, of, of the... Uh, people or the organisation, the party coming out and saying really derogatory, demeaning things about my person, uh, about my whānau, uh, that's when I saw, okay, this is, this is not a crowd that I can run with even if I wanted to. Uh, when you're prepared to slam uh, wahine Māori, and I'm not the first, um, then you know, you've got a real problem with, within the party. Dr Elizabeth Kirikiri, talked about an epic uh, failure of leadership uh, within the Green Party and from my experience um, I, I will have to I will have to agree. Chloe Swarbrick since coming in at, at, over James Shaw I want your honest opinion here is she right for the lot role of co-leader or is it doing more harm than good? I don't, I don't, that's not a leader that I will ever follow going forward. Her leadership is, is, is not one for me that I would want to see for Aotearoa, um, that, that I would ever follow. We, we have enough word salad um, in the world and we need more actions and doing.